Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. We have LR Ginyu first. First things first. Um, before we go ahead and uh, awaken um, our boy LR Captain Ginyu here, uh, LR Ginyu Force. Uh, I do want to gra go ahead and grab the pity copy right here. I would have done it in my summon stream, but unfortunately, you know, Dokkan, I mean, they're idiots. I mean, they prove this time and time again. Um, you know, you can't get stuff when your box space is full. And, you know, the game does absolutely despise uh, giving out box space to, uh, you know, long-time paying players like Wales. Um, and they're just like, yeah, no, like, you know, we'd rather make your life living hell than, <laughs> you know, do anything to help you out. It's like, oh, thanks, Amatsu. I appreciate it. That's so super good, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> I love, you know, spending 50 hours cleaning out my box because I literally cannot even play the game after summoning. It's so good. It's, this is really a, a grand time. But anyway, uh, let's, you know, let's let's uh, remain positive here. Uh, so, Awakening, I, don't, I think the uh, Ginyu uh, Force is going to be pretty easy here. Uh, metals are not really going to be too tough. Um, you know, the Dokkan Faskinyu medals is going to need quite a few. Uh, that Kid Gohan medal is very easy. That Kid Gohan medal, that's just from the Dragon Ball story event. Uh, go ahead and level this boy up to max. You guys know the deal. I like to... It's just from my old, you know, like, walk-through Let's Play days. I would always, like, show all this type of stuff. Uh, this is Dokkan Faskinyu, uh, Transforming Goku, and then Transforming Frieza. Let's go ahead and awaken these boys. Um, I, again, I, people do want me to do level 10, some people want me to do level 10 links for these videos, but it's just, like, in the interest of me getting the video out, and then, you know, kind of quickly getting up to, like, it, it's just, it's just much easier for me this way, considering the currency and stuff like that. I, I, maybe, I, 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 at a certain point, I might not need keys anymore at all, besides just the showcase character, maybe then, but, um, again, it, it's just for ease for me it's easiest to just 55 percent video first time using the character no link levels no equips or nothing like that we go in we see how they perform uh now remember this character if you're wondering should you summon is this character worth it the answer is no because they are restricted to basically topo's team special pose but on that team they are going to be legendarily good all right guys um We'll play this first turn. So we're jumping in, um, obviously, here into the LR Ginyu Force showcase. Now, I would consider EGL Ginyu a character that is very likely unrunnable. Um, let's see what's going to happen here. Um, you know, remember, when you have, when you just load in and you have perfect RNG, pretty much any character can work, you know, with, again, with like perfect or near perfect RNG. Um, I think we're dead here. Just off of opening rotation. Just off of running Captain Ginyu in, like, a real fight. I think we're probably dead. Um, I, I I do kind of want to use Ginyu. I might just go into, like, the um, Gods and Mortals event that I like to use. Are we supering in slot 3, too? Yeah. I mean, again, there's not much he could do when you don't get perfect RNG. Uh, my Ginyu does not have a dodge build, either, fortunately. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a great start. Uh, so, I mean, if you guys are curious, uh, no, I mean, Captain Ginyu is not really saved. I mean, I'm sure, you know, we could definitely get away with it. He does stack, um, transformed. I mean, he does have a lot of dodge built in, right? Like, he's got some stuff, but, like, I mean, is, is he, um, is he saved? No. Uh, no, the answer is no. Like, uh, outside of the Ginyu showcases, you know, I, I will not be using Cap uh, Captain Ginyu. Ejo Captain Ginyu. Not gonna be happening. Maybe against Cell Max, if we got really good luck. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna see a lot of intros, but we'll actually be able to see the LR Ginyu Force here. Cool, cool, cool. My god, dude. Doesn't get much more fire than that. God. Phew. Okay. The LR Goat U Force. Um, okay, so oh my god, dude, this rotation. 
Bro, I just... Oh, my God. All right, Vegeta is about to cook us again because Topo needs to be on a rotation with... Damn, okay, we're, we're probably going to be cooked. Uh, let's just quickly go over some of the stuff that the LR Ginyu Force is doing. Um, so, their intro we can get if there's five or more special pose category allies on the team. Uh, and then we get three key, 150% attack and defense, and a guaranteed additional super for the rest of the fight. And then for three turns, all allies other than this character get 25% attack and defense. So right now we're buffing Topo and Pride Troopers and LR Ribrian. They're both getting buffed, which is good. Um, we are guarding and super effective if all allies are special pose. You really would just benefit a lot from just running a full special pose team with this character, which is not going to be an issue. Special pose is easily good enough right now to dominate every fight in the game easily, um, especially with this character introduced to the team, right? Uh, then we get 7% damage reduction before attacking and a 7% chance to crit when attacking per special pose category ally in the team. I think if we mix that with a full dodge build, which, you know, again, sorry guys, but yeah, full dodge for this character, absolutely. Uh, we mix full dodge in with that, plus their guard, plus, you know, I mean, some of their stats. I think that they should be pretty effective. Um, so then they also give special pose category allies other than this character... 25% attack and defense for two turns when they collect an int or rainbow key sphere, and then they get an additional 50% attack and defense for the turn when collecting any type of key sphere other than int. So, any type key sphere other than int. So, you do want to avoid getting int orbs. I guess. A lot of times I hate Ribrian's orb changing because it's just too much, but I mean, it certainly does benefit us here. Okay, let's look at Topo and Ribrian. Let's look at their their defense. Hitting that right there should now trigger some more support for them, which is good. Uh, the Ginyu Force here, we also have kind of an interesting set of mechanics with their super attacks. So the way this works, right, is they basically have three different supers. We have the 12 key super, the 15 key super, and the 18 key super. Now, when you do an additional, you will always do the lowest key possible for a super attack. So the 15 key super we cannot get on an additional. In order to do that, we would need to actually miss the 18 key super. And the 15 key super is big because we can either greatly stack attack uh, or greatly stack attack and defense if we hit it. But the 15 key super, I mean, that's going to be inconsistent at best. Um, the 12 key super, we get a 50% defense, and then we have a 50% chance to also get 50% attack for one turn. Um, and then we also do guaranteed stun. Could be good if they're in slot one. You know, in you know Super Battle Road, maybe sell max. We could dominate with that. Uh, and then the 18 key super attack effect, we get 100% attack and even for one turn, mega colossal damage. And then all allies get 30% attack and defense for one turn. They give so much support. So, like, look at this. So, we're going to run them in slot one, right? They're giving 30% attack and defense from the 18 key to the rotation. Then we're getting 25% attack and defense from the intro for the rest of the rotation. And then we're also getting 25% attack and defense, their special pose support from collecting an int or rainbow key sphere as well. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. They, um, they seem very good. Now, I did all this rambling, We're talking about the character, we could easily just get cooked. Not on LR Goat Ginyu. Okay, thank God. Um, wait, no, he seals. Oh, God damn it. Uh, disaster showcase already, two seconds in. That's the guaranteed additional right there from the intro, but we didn't, yeah, we didn't, unfortunately. God damn it. No, dude. This is what happens when it's like, all right, let's go into like Supreme Battle Spectacle or something like that. And the Topo and Pride Trooper, they could get smacked here as well. Uh, we did double super, huh? We do have a full dodge build on them as well. We don't do it. Okay, but they are double digits cool. Uh, all right, I guess I'll just... We'll just come back on their next turn. God damn it. All right, well... Well, okay. So we did get sealed, so we didn't get to see the LR Ginyu Force super. Keep in mind, though, that the LR Ginyu Force is still making a significant impact in that their support is for two turns. Right, their intro support is for what the first three turns, and then their typical support is just multiple turns. So, I mean, it's uh, this is going to be a very fun team. You guys know, I think God of Destruction Topo is very good. 
Uh, so this team is going to be great now. Alright guys, whew, we have been getting uh, smoked, bruh. Absolutely cooked, ridiculously. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to rock Topo and Saw 1 so that Ginyu, uh, Goat Ginyu does not get sealed again. Um, I mean, we're still going to be able to see the effect of him in Saw 2. Uh, in terms of links, um, you know, I, we're probably, like, when we're running this character seriously, I, let, let's just look at the Ginyu Force characters. I, I know that they're very fun because they were so good when they came out, but, I mean, the Ginyu Force characters are pretty much just dead. People ask me about Rakum and Goldo, and, like, they're worse than Amond and Raisin. Like, they're not going to work. Uh, again, it's, the thing people, people hear whatever they want to hear when I talk. But, like, when I say, like, Rakum and Goldo don't work, I mean, yeah, dude, if you get perfect RNG, any character can work. But if you just get normal RNG, right, where the boss, the Red Sea does not open up every single turn for the character, uh, Rakum and Goldo are not good enough anymore, flat out. Birder and Jace, we could get away with only because they're dodge, but if they're not dodging, we're cooked. AGL Ginyu is probably not going to work, uh, again, unless it's perfect situations and the Red Sea opens up and he never gets hit. Um, but the Ginyu Force is just, you know, like, they're kind of by themselves, unfortunately. Uh, the other Ginyu members are not really the greatest right now. Uh, it would have been nice if they would have given us at least one other Ginyu Force member who was even relevant at the moment. I mean, if we were going to do all this, why not just do Goku Ginyu as the Dokkan Fest rather than Topo, right? Like, that would have been good. All right, but anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and see... I'm, I'm sorry, I guess... Well, bro... We're apparently we're uh, 12 minutes in. We're about to see their super attack for the first time. I, 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 bro, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. You know, we got unlucky. We got sealed. I mean, EGL Ginyu got cooked the first time. <laughs> I'm not a magic man. I can't make magic happen. It is what it is. All right, we could have gotten away with the Ginyu Force since I won right there. All right, double digits is good. All right, let's see. Uh, 6.8. Uh, definitely not the craziest, but I mean, we are 55%, right? And I mean, 55%, consider all the massive support we have, you know, going all over the place. This is a guaranteed additional super right here. Uh, oh, we got the Raccoon one, which I believe means we're getting 50% um, uh, attack and defense. I think Goldo is just the normal 12 key. The 50% chance for the better 12 key, that is Raccoon. Um, I think the normal... 15 key, I think, is is Jeez. And then I think Birder is the better 15 key. And then the 18 key is, of course, you know, it just ends with Captain Ginyu's uh, big blast right there. Uh, bro, apparently we're just, like, not killing this Vegeta. Like, I want him dead. Should I transform with Katopo, man? I'm scared. Why, why is he attacking the end so many times? Please, dude. I'm running some weaker characters, Vegeta. Whatever, I'm just going to cut till their next turn, man. We're going to get cooked. I, I'm running two Ginyu Force members who are both kind of zeros in here. And uh, it's it's getting pretty spooky. It's getting pre Oh, that's a good crit right there. Oh, the friend Topo built offense might have helped out a little bit here. Uh, remember, I mean, you know, Ginyu, you know, he does have multiple turn support. Uh, Birder and Jace, that banner unit, remember, they are a nice support as well. Okay, um, we are going to be able to transform Captain Ginyu, huh? I guess we should, uh, because it is going to give us a scouter, because we have Jace on the team. Wait, are we? Yeah, we're able to. Um, and we can do their active as well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that the LR Ginyu Force, I mean, I don't think I can say they have the best active in the game. I probably can't say that, because... Of like what Orange Piccolo does, what Ribrian does, what Beast Gohan does, what uh, Carnival Blue Gogeta do, right? Like those are assuredly better active skills. But this is just like, like you know, like I saw the effect and I you know fall onto my knees like what? So this active, it has a bad condition. So it's you know we're able to use because because it's it's not turn three and turn five. It's turn three from first appearance, turn five from first appearance. So if they're in slot seven, 
then they could use their active on turn seven. That nonsense. The same thing that EGL Vegito Blue has, which I hate. I hate that they're still doing this. So it's turn three from their first appearance if we have a full Ginyu Force team, or turn five from their first appearance if we have a full special pose team. So, uh, and then this uh, increases their own attack and defense by 25%. And then all allies other than this character get permanent 15% attack and defense. It's it, it, it it's actually so good. I cannot believe how good it is. Like that, it's so... Their active skill is so busted. It's so busted. ジャック。貴様と俺の体を。もう正義は皆覚悟は決めた。They are so... I Am I... Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Does it not feel like like Dokkan... Like they put a little extra like love and care into this character? Like am I crazy for thinking that? Like doesn't... It, it seems like they... They have a little extra sauce. I know you guys see that, dude. The little... They got a little extra juice there, dude. Like, in the animations and shit. For sure, I'm not making it. They definitely do. They absolutely do. All right, let's hit this. So, this is great. Evolution Blue Vegeta is a huge damaging boss because his super attack does an 80% defensive debuff. So, it can crush us. We're definitely going to die on this turn. I think almost definitely. I, I don't know. I think almost definitely. Oh, we have, I think, all links activated except for... Uh, Legendary Power is the only link not activated for the LR Ginyu Force. Um, their link set is not very good. Oh, I didn't go over it in depth, did I? We're going to do a second run. We're going to try and get some of the other super attack animations. No worries. Uh, oh my god, Ginyu stat or Tobo stats? What? With no links? Dude, the Ginyu Force are so, they're so broken. Oh my god. Dude, Tobo's numbers, what? The what? He doesn't have any of his links up. Huh? Bro, they're so broken, LR Gin. Like, the amount of support they're given and shit is crazy. All right, so we do this. That's 100% plus we're given support. Then this right here. No matter what, we're going to get defense from this. There's the Goldo super attack. Okay, cool. All right, let's see how much damage we... This Vegeta super, this is like a 2 million super plus it lowers your defense by 80%. So this is like big boy damage that we were, you know, let's see. Yeah, okay, we're definitely dead, because, uh, <laughs> EGO, uh, Goat Ginyu, I mean, you know, nothing will take away the special place he has, place he has in my heart from two years ago, but, uh, it ain't two years ago anymore, unfortunately. Um, now, I would like to at least get the 15 key super, uh, I mean, we, we saw them up against the big boss super, that was good, I mean, we saw some good stuff, yeah, at this point, guys, EGO Ginyu, he is a full dodge character at this point. Um, let's just hop into, like, a, an event that's a bit easier, now that we've kind of seen how 55% Ginyu Forest kind of rocks. Um, and, uh, let, yeah, let, let's just kind of, like, see how they're gonna work. Um, let's get that 15 key super attack, you know, with, with Jace and Birder and kind of see how things look. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, what we want to do here 
Uh, I mean, I I do want to get the the 15 key animation, huh? Uh, I mean, we've been able to get a lot. Of, well, actually, how do you get the 15 key? <laughs> Wait, how do you get the 15 key super again? It's gonna be tough. Like I, uh, I I mean, do we need to like avoid them getting their intro? Like, I'm not even really too sure why they have that, the 15 key super. Like, what the point of it is. Because, I mean, if we have their intro up, um, <clears throat> we're probably not going to be hitting this, to, like, ever, as you guys can see. Like, it's it's actually impossible to get it here. So, yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. Um, I mean, I guess I could do a run where we don't run a full special post team just to see it, I guess. Uh, the, the boys links right here. Uh, so we have gentlemen, respect, the Ginyu force, loyalty, signature pose, fierce battle, and legendary power. Well, damn, if we only had one Ginyu force character that was good, this is a big boy link. This is loyalty. This gives two key and 5% damage reduction. That's very good. Um, it is, you know, I, I'm not... I saw a lot of discussion of people upset that the Ginyu Force is, like, locked to the Special Pose team. And, like, I do get it as a new summonable LR. But the number one job for this summonable LR should have been to buff Topo. And guess what they do? They buff Topo. Like, yeah, it'd be nice if they could work on, like, Terrifying Conquers and shit like that. But I don't really give a shit right now because it's the Topo celebration. I, I would prefer that, like, Frieza would have gotten his help in the Frieza celebration, right? Um, hopefully, I mean, Terrifying Conquerors cover so many characters. Hopefully they will get that help. Um, but I am glad to see them just give a million characters to help out Topo. It's what all these in-between Dokkan... Like, every celebration should be about making that team good. This should be the standard celebration we get. Where, like, all this help comes in. Uh, so that link is really good. Loyalty. Um, obviously these, some of these other links are really good. Like, Ginyu Force is, what, 25% attack and 5% crit chance... I mean, you know, there's a lot of power that these boys can generate from those links of theirs. Um, all right, let's just get a turn or two. Um, I mean, I like we'll maybe see a rotation with them having all seven links up. How about that? We could do that with AJL Ginyu next to them, and then LR Ribrian like with them in the middle. Like we could easily get all seven links active. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's gonna... That 15 key super, I, I don't really see why they have that. I don't get it. Not really too sure. Because, again, the additional super is always going to be the lowest key super attack they could do, which is 12. So the additional super is always gonna come in at a 12 key super. Right? Like, it works that way for, like, you know, super easy attack Gotenks who comes out in a couple of days. You know, hit the lowest key he could get for a super attack is 9 key. So, what he's going to do is, when you get an additional with him, it's always going to be the 9 key super attack for Tech Gotenks. So, yeah, not really not really too sure what the point of the 15 key super is. Alright, uh, so again, we're kind of like start of turn. This is what our key is looking like right here. Um, let's just go ahead and get the multiple turn support, get the attack. Um, I think what I'll probably do after this turn is we'll come back to the next turn probably because we'll have ginyu lr ginyu and then uh Berter and jace we'll also be able to have their active up on that turn then we'll get the, the seven um uh link turn where we have all links activated uh and then i just i would like to get the 15 key super attack in at least once in the video um and then we can finish off remember that's a guaranteed one turn stun uh the 12 key super attack so that's going to be very effective um in whatchamacallit like super battle road content uh battlefield i guess if you want to rock like a ginyu force team i typically do run the ginyu force still in battlefield for the first fight um although i mean of course with this lr ginyu the ginyu force team would probably be good enough to even beat the evolution blue vegeta at the end i imagine pretty comfortably huh yeah yeah okay all right we'll come back all right, um, we can play this. I don't see any reason not to. We'll go ahead and play this a second time. Ooh. Yeah, that's, 
that good stuff right there. Okay, so of course, that's remember, that's going to be a huge buff. Um, so next to Goat Ginyu, uh, we are going to have six out of seven links activated, which is nice. I guess one thing I'm going to really appreciate is that uh, we do have a weapon super here, huh? So that'll get me closer to that title. Uh, and if you're curious, no, I have not gotten it yet. I haven't really grinded to get it yet, unfortunately. But um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go. Uh, this, you know, this should be the highest numbers we've seen from LR Ginyu in the video. This probably is going to be the highest numbers we'll see from them in the video, actually. Because uh, even, I, I think uh, Birder and Jace's support is going to be better for, like, looking for them than probably just legendary power from Ruby Ann. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so there's that. Uh, we, we've been getting Raccoon at a pretty decent clip. Again, I believe Raccoon is the... You know, it, both the 15 and 12 key supers have a 50% chance to be a better version. And I, I believe Raccoon is the better version, and I think Goldo is just the generic one. Um, so, all right, we'll, we'll come back next turn and see the old 7 link turn. All right, here we go. Uh, we will be able to get uh, all 7. Uh, we'll go ahead and transform... 320, damn. Okay. Uh, whew. No, okay, we could go Ribriana saw one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Um, because remember, AGL Ginyu in base, he is supporting, right? Damn, that's not 24 key though. That's fine. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we get. We have all seven links activated. Um, let's go ahead and see what uh, numbers we get. Uh LR Ribrian is not a slot one character, but we've got type advantage right there. Yeah, even base Ginyu would would he be struggling even in here, unfortunately. All right, Rip Rian. remember Rip Rian getting the extra stats from Ginyu as well. Rip Rian is a pretty decent character to run in special pose. Um, if you're wondering why, you know, I haven't, I probably won't be running physical Rip Rian, um, because the second Peppy Gal character is gonna be tough to come by. I mean, because Kefla is not on GP right now, um, and well, I guess the other thing too is that Kefla is also not special pose, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to run her. So, I don't know. Um, for j specifically special pose, probably don't want to run, run physical Rip Ran with the LR Ginyu Force now being a thing. Um, but, I mean, we we will be fine because there's still going to be a couple of Go Tanks as we could run. Obviously, the LR Goatmas can work very effectively as well. Like, there's a lot of stuff um, that we could do. So, all right. Uh, let me just get the 15 key Super Attack animation in once in the video. Uh, and then I think we will be good to go here. All right, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves the 15 key super. So, uh, okay. So we're at 13 key. So all we need is two key for them. Okay. That's not really so bad. Bam. Right there. 15 key. Bam. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, what the animation is. I believe it's uh, uh, Birder and Jace, right? So, I think um, Jace is just the normal one, and Birder... Yeah, so I think that's just a normal one, right? And then I think Birder comes in, and then that's the stronger one, which gives us the defensive stack. I Wait, actually, I, I'm a silly goose. You know, I, I can double... Why don't here, I'll bring it up. Guys, we're going to look at it together. What is the better one? So, uh, okay, okay. So, the 12 key super, the normal one is Goldo. The normal one is Goldo, yep. And then the alternate, this is where we get the extra uh, damage, right? This is uh, Raccoon. Okay, yep. Because, you know, no matter what, you're going to get 50% defense. And then with the alternate ones, you get the 50% attack. Um, so then here for the 15 key super, I believe uh, Jace is the regular one, uh, which he is right there. Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, and then it's actually Birder who gives us the 50% uh, defensive stack. So if we are able to get the 15 key super in like the first turn, obviously it's something we do want to go for uh, because it's going to give us, you know, some, some stacks, which, which is going to be really, really good. So, all right, there we go. There was the LR Ginyu Force. They're good. Um, 
One thing I will say, though, is I'm not so certain that the Ginyu Force variant of the team is going to be better than the non... Like, it, it's... it the, the LR Ginyu Force is going to be very fun, but what I'm saying is Topo's team will probably be better overall if we're running, like, you know, UI and Evolution Blue Vegeta and stuff like that. I mean, Topo himself will be better uh, on the Ginyu variant of the team. I mean, we, there are several different ways we can go ahead and build it. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look at the full details for uh, the LR Ginyu Force. All right, guys. So here, of course, was the LR Goat Force. Uh, definitely a very, very fun character. I do like what Dokkan did. Um, if we get versions of, like, like a character like this, like, it's characters like this and characters like LR Bulma and stuff like that, that really can help out, right? Because this is gonna make all other characters stronger. I mean, getting away with running, like, AGL Ginyu and stuff like that is, would be because this character is a thing, right? So, alright, uh, the regular Dokkan Wiki does not yet have um the page created so we'll just use the thieving six wiki here so this is an unprecedented group of strong people wait what does gresh have the unprecedented group of powerful warriors what gresh put okay uh ginyu special forces remember that they have the same name as the physical lr ginyu force from battlefield uh their leader uh skill is ginyu force or special pose category key four and 150 percent of stats remember they are of course a yellow coin lr uh, their passive skill is called the Supreme Pose. Okay. So, they activate their uh, intro animation or entrance animation if there's five or more Special Pose category allies in the team. Uh, and then you get three key, 150% attack and defense, a guaranteed additional super, and then for... Th th those are permanent buffs. And then for three turns, uh, all allies except for the LR Ginyu Force get 25% attack and defense. I mean, Battlefield, Super Battle Road, uh, Cell Max, fights where that buff is huge. I mean, against, like, Supreme Battle Spectacle Gogeta, at, like, that buff isn't... I mean, I guess the... You'll probably be fighting Blue Goku and Vegeta on turn three, right? And I guess this buff will probably be up for that, but it's not... In the Supreme Battle Spectacle fights, it's not going to make the biggest difference. Um, but, you know, in Cell Max, it certainly will. Uh, then they get two key and 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, if all allies on the rotation are special pose, uh, the Ginyu Force guards, and they are super effective against all types. Um, so, you know, they have that, plus they have built-in crit in the next part of their passive, and they have a guaranteed additional super, and, I mean, they're a support type unit that does have some defensive mechanics. I mean, guys, <laughs> I, you know, it's it's a dodge build character, I'm sorry. I mean, that's, that's as far as I'll take it, but just letting y'all know. Correct build for them. Full dodge. Uh, next, for every ally in the special pose category on the team, we get 7% damage reduction before you attack, and then 7% chance to crit when they attack. Uh, a pretty nice ability. Um, so, you know, if you, again, don't build your character full crit, uh, they will have the 35% chance to crit on a full special pose team, uh, and they would be super effective against all types, just baseline anyway. Um, certainly super effective against all types is definitely not as good as critting, and there are several bosses with high enough defense that it can be an issue where you do want to crit, but you guys get what I'm saying there. Uh, so there's that. Uh, oh, and then this part, it's when you obtain an int key sphere or a rainbow key sphere, uh, you get attack and defense, uh, for all allies except for the LR Ginyu Force, uh, they get, uh, 25% attack and defense. Right, it's the, well, okay, that, that part is written, okay, here, it's, yeah, when you get the, where is it, it's special pose category allies other than the LR Ginyu Force gets a 25% attack and defense for two turns when we get an int or rainbow key sphere, um, and then the LR Ginyu Force gets 50% attack and defense for the turn when collecting any type's key sphere other than int. So what you want to do is get, like, you know, a line of STR orbs and a rainbow orb, right? Because then that will activate both buffs. Uh, because their multiple turn support can be triggered by a rainbow key sphere, which, I mean, it, it does work well with Topo, by the way. Because remember, Topo specifically changes in orbs. So it's like it hurts the gammas a little bit. 
but it does help out the Ginyu Force at the same time. Because we, you know, as long as you get a Rainbow Key Sphere and then, you know, any other type Key Sphere besides Int, the Ginyu Force will be cooking right there. So so that is good, um, you know, kind of having those abilities there. Uh, so there's that. There's their passive. Uh, we can just look at their active skill next. Um, so what does uh, Gresh call this? So this is the Special Fighting Pose. So we could do this uh, third turn from their first appearance if the entire team is Ginyu Force or fifth turn from their first appearance when the entire team is special pose. So again, I, you know, it does hurt. This active is a huge portion of how good this character is. I mean, if we can't run Evolution Blue Vegeta on the team, UI Goku on the team and stuff like that and be able to use the active skill. That's why, like, I, you know, I, I, I think the Ginyu Force are really fun, really good, but... I mean, is their variant of the team going to be better than a team with Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI on it? Like, the Ginyu Force are definitely not as good as those two. So, it, it's, it's like, that is that is kind of a thing. Um, I, I will say this. If they drop, like, a Dispo soon, or LR Jiren Topo and Dispo, or we get a more Ginyu Force characters or anything to continue building up special pose, I would not mind, for sure. Um, and then the effect they get from the active skill is a permanent 25% attack and defensive buff, which is crazy. And then all allies get a permanent 15% attack and defense, which is crazy. It's just crazy. Crazy ability. Like, that is, uh, you know, remove team protector active skills out of it, and this is the best active in the game. But I, I can't put this above Orange Piccolo or Beast. They're, like, it's, they're too good. Like, they're directly just taking enemy attacks away from weak characters. Whereas this is just buffing the weak... But, you know, if you give the Cyberman this buff, <laughs> that's not protecting you. Like, it's not saving you, right? But it, 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 this is still, like, I don't I don't want to downplay this. This is incredible. Amazing ability. Um, then there's super attacks. So, remember, they have the three different super attacks right here. Uh, this is where it's going to be a lot uh, better to look at Gresh's. So the 12 key super is rock, paper, scissors to determine fight order. So Goldo is the normal super attack, which gets 50% defense, uh, colossal damage, and then a guaranteed one turn stun. And remember, it is just a one turn stun. So super battle row, battlefield, something like that could be good. Um, uh, or cell max as well, yeah. Uh, then there's a 50% chance that Raccoon is the super attack as instead, uh, where now we'll get 50% defense and 50% attack for one turn and the stun. Uh, with the 15 key super attack, uh, Jace shows up. It's still rock, paper, scissors to determine fight order. Uh, and then we'll greatly stack attack and do colossal damage. And then a 50% chance that Birder shows up, where we'll greatly stack attack, stack defense, and then also do colossal damage um, to the enemy. So the 15 key super, I mean, would be good if you can get it early in the fight. But I, if you have... The intro, I, I just don't see this, like, happening often. I, like, if you could get away with the 15 key super early on, you, you gotta go for it. I mean, you really want to hope you get Birder as well. An attack stack does nothing to help you win. But a defensive stack could be really good on this character. A character with guard and damage reduction and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. Uh, then the 18 key super attack is really good. 100% attack and defense for one turn is big. Mega Colossal Damage, and then allies get 30% attack and defense for one turn. Um, if I I really would like that to be two turns. I mean, they'd have so much two-turn support, which, I mean, they are, you know, they already do, but that would be really crazy. Um, so you do get major benefit from running this character in slot one. I, I don't know how they'll do against, like, Blue Gogeta. I, I don't, like, let's say they're in slot one and Blue Gogeta's lining that super attack up. The Goat Force are probably just dead, right? Maybe if we had, you know, all their links up, you know, gentlemen and all that stuff, uh, maybe they could barely live, but it's probably going to be dodge at that point. Um, but the good news is by then, God Topo is ready to go in slot one. He could handle it. He can handle business. So there is their super attacks. Um, next is their links, right? Uh, so they have Gentleman, Respect, Ginyu Force, uh, Loyalty, Special Pose, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Uh, links that right now really sucks ass because there's no other Ginyu Force characters that are good. None of them are good. None of them are... The only one that I would even concede is slightly runnable, I would say, is Birder and Jace. But that is... 
you're pr- like they're they're fifty percent dodge or die, right? So I, I I am not the biggest fan of fifty percent dodge or die at all. Uh, so they're a little risky. So because there's no other good Ginyu Force characters, unfortunately that means their link set sucks, right? If if you know if it was March of twenty twenty two, the Ginyu Force links did not suck because there were several that were very good. But fortunately, you know, shit changes. You know, life goes life life changes. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the multipliers here probably are just going to be the same 150 12 key, 150 percent 12 key multiplier, and then the 200 percent uh, 24 key multiplier. Um, and then in terms of the categories uh, that the Goat LR Ginyu Force have here, we have the Ginyu Force category team, which uh, again, I mean, it's not you know, there's not exactly um, good characters at all besides them. So that's yeah. You know, I'd, I'd like. I'd like another Ginyu Force character. Um, Dokkan, if you don't mind, give us another Ginyu Force character. That'd be great. Uh, then this, of course, is Special Pose. Special Pose with the glow up of the century, huh? Wow. It's, you know, it's crazy. A lot of, lot of very solid characters on Special Pose now. Crazy. Uh, then there's, of course, the Planet Namek Saga team. Uh, the Ginyu Force, not really a buff for the Planet Namek Saga team, though, unfortunately. I mean, they rely so heavily on special pose right so there's that uh then there's also the dragon ball seeker category team which they are a part of cool uh they're also down here on the terrifying conqueror team it is funny because frieza so badly needs terrifying conqueror help but mm, well uh yeah uh, they're not really gonna help frieza i hope frieza gets help frieza could still be very good this year if you're curious frieza's not dead and Terrifying Conquer is such a vast category that I think Freeze of Us probably will come. Uh, but, like, what they do, what they did with Topo, two thumbs up. A+. Plus, outstanding. What they did with Frieza, F is the grade that Dokkan gets. And I'm not, I'm not like, talking about Frieza's kit. I'm talking about the help they gave. They gave Topo 50 good EZAs, a part 2 LR. Banner unit is okay, mediocre. Frieza got a, a, a okay banner unit. And nothing else, right? Like, nothing else. Uh, then there's the Space Traveling Warrior team um, that the LR Ginyu Force are a part of. Uh, and then finally, uh, we are down here on the Joined Forces category team. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the LR Ginyu Force at 55%. Um, they're definitely very good. I think they're, gonna, they're of course, going to look a lot better at Rainbow. Um, but, I mean, this is a character that pretty much is just locked to Topo's team. Um, I cannot recommend anyone even thinking about summoning for this. I, it's just, I don't know where you're going to use them without Topo. And I mean, you know, you'd have to get Topo too. It's, you know, it's, it's fun, but like, you know, I've heard Toon Rami use luxury unit as a term at, this is a luxury character for sure. Uh, very fun though. Very fun. Uh, 